Hello and welcome to the Cloudian HyperIQ demo. I'm Siddharth, Product Manager for HyperIQ. HyperIQ is an observability tool for Cloudian storage infrastructure. You can deploy it as a virtual machine in your data center within minutes. For this demo, I have deployed it to monitor an internal cluster that has 12 nodes across three data centers. After you log in, it takes you to the main dashboard. When we run a large scale storage environment, there are three things that we care about most. Infrastructure status that is covered in this dashboard, application performance, which is covered in the services, and user analytics, which is under S3 analytics dashboard. Let's start with the infrastructure monitoring. In the overview section, you can monitor the overall health, usage, and performance of the cluster. It can be filtered by region, data center, or nodes. Top section covers the health of the cluster and pre-created alerts. These alerts are configurable based on your workload, and for instant notifications, you can pick a channel from the list of supported channels, such as email, Slack, PagerDuty, and others. Below that, you can see the capacity usage over time and how data is getting balanced across all the nodes in your cluster. Then we have the receive and transmit network traffic details across all the nodes. By default, it shows you data for last one hour, but you can select your own time range in the top right corner. If you notice something unusual, you can zoom into that and it filters all the other panels for that time range. Based on what information you're looking to drill down into, there are different sections for disks, network, file system, NTP, and other hardware details. As a storage provider, disks are an integral part of our solution. When you expand this section, you can see how data is getting balanced across all the disks, the read and write IOPS, the latency, and current reads and writes that are in progress. This data helps us to identify potential issues proactively before they impact operations in your data center. Network monitoring is another critical part of distributed infrastructure. To address that, HyperIQ captures details about every interface on every node in your cluster. It also includes the panels for network throughput, packet drops, traffic errors, and other metrics that you might need for troubleshooting. After verifying the server level details, you can move to the services dashboard to get visibility into processes and services within Hyperstore application. In addition to the three filters from the previous dashboard, here we have an additional filter for the services that are running on Hyperstore. To compare the usage of a service across the nodes and data centers, you can select it from the drop-down menu. This helps you to understand how different services on Hyperstore are performing. You can use this data to compare the performance of storage layer with various end-user applications and tune the system to optimize the performance. Typically, this is where conventional monitoring tools stop. But in HyperIQ, we provide real-time visibility into user activity how they are using the system, are they getting good service, or if their usage is impacting the system performance in any way. That takes us to the S3 Analytics dashboard. Suppose I want to view the user activity for the last two days. You can select the time range from here. Now it shows me how many users were active on the system, how many buckets did they access, and how much data did they download and upload. Below that, you can view the distribution of top users and buckets by number of transactions. You can also view the client IP addresses from which most of the requests are coming. Next to that, you can view the distribution of different S3 API calls. This information is especially useful if you are a service provider or if you are managing the IT access for multiple groups and users within your company. To get further insights into users, you can scroll down and look at the summary activity tables. Here, for every user, you can view the amount of data downloaded and uploaded, and you can track how many gets, puts, heads, and deletes have they executed. If you have a compliance policy within the company to delete the data, say, every 60 days, HyperIQ helps you to track and enforce those policies on user level. You can filter this information further on the bucket level. If you want to monitor a specific user and all the buckets that they own, you can use the filters at the top. After you select a user, you can see from which bucket did they upload or download the data and the number of transactions that they carried out. You can also view the number of error response codes that your end users might have experienced on the bucket level. 
This helps you to identify if there is any misconfiguration on any of your buckets. For a historical view of the user activity, for the selected time range, here you can see the trend and count for every S3 API call executed by the user. You can also track their download and upload activity at the bucket level. Since HyperStore is a native S3 object storage, you can use it with any end-user application that supports S3 protocol. This could be a backup application, a video management software, or any media asset manager. If your users or applications connected to the object storage are experiencing any performance issues, HyperIQ helps you to troubleshoot that at bucket level. Different applications generate different file sizes, and depending on whether they are small or large files, it might impact the request and response durations differently on the system. Normally, monitoring tools only show you the latency on a system level, but in HyperIQ, it is more granular, and you can view that on a bucket level. So that was the overview of Cloudian HyperIQ. I hope it was useful. To learn more, please reach out to us or visit our website. Thanks.